Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the 2024 Toyota Hilux GR Sport, the most powerful and expensive Hilux ever. But is it worth the hype? Let's find out. The Hilux GR Sport is inspired by the Dakar rally winning Hilux truck, and it shows. It has a unique body kit, a black roof, a raised suspension, and a wider track. It also has some cool GR badges and decals to make it stand out from the crowd. But the real highlight of the GR Sport is under the hood. It has a performance-enhanced version of the 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine with 165 kilowatt and 550 newton meter of torque. That's a 15 kilowatt and 50 newton meter increase over the standard Hilux, and it makes a noticeable difference on the road. The engine is paired with a six-speed automatic transmission, which has paddle shifters for more control. And of course, it has a four-wheel drive system with low range and a rear differential lock. The GR Sport is seriously capable off-road thanks to its improved ground clearance, approach angle, and suspension. It has KYB shocks that are specially tuned for this model, and they provide a smooth and stable ride on rough terrain. The GR Sport also has four-wheel disc brakes, which are rare in this segment, and they offer better stopping power and durability. But the GR Sport is not just a rugged beast, it's also a comfortable and well-equipped cruiser. It has a lot of features that you would expect from a top-spec Hilux, such as smart entry start, LED lights, dual zone climate control, rear privacy glass, and a nine speaker JBL sound system. It also has an eight inch touchscreen with Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay and a 4.2 inch driver's info display. The interior is spacious and practical with plenty of storage and USB ports. The seats are leather accented and heated and the driver's seat has electric adjustment. The steering wheel is also leather wrapped and has GR logos. The GR Sport also has a lot of safety features, such as seven airbags, ABS, EBD, BA, VSC, and etc. It also has a pre-collision system, lane departure alert, adaptive cruise control, road sign assist, and a reversing camera. However, it does not have an ANCAP rating, as it is based on the Rogue model, which was not tested by the authority. The GR Sport is not cheap, though. It costs $73,990 before on-road costs, and that's without any options. The two-tone paint adds another $1,000, and there are other accessories available, such as a hard tonneau cover, a tow bar, and a snorkel. The GR Sport also has a high fuel consumption, with a claimed 8.4 liter per 100 kilometer, which can easily go up to 10 liter per 100 kilometer or more in real-world driving. So, is the Hilux GR Sport worth it? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. If you want a powerful, tough, and stylish ute that can handle any terrain, and you don't mind paying a premium for it, then the GR Sport might be the one for you. But if you want a more refined, economical, and modern ute, or if you're looking for a true performance ute like the Ranger Raptor, then you might want to look elsewhere. That's it for this review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more car reviews. And let me know what you think of the Hilux GR Sport in the comments below. See you next time.